Good morning, everybody. We are on our morning routine, checking all the flowers. Sherry does as well. <laughs> she has her favorite sports to check. <laughs> Sergi is sniffing the hyacinths. They are in full glory. Look at the size of this one. It is absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I'm so happy to see that my fritillaries, snake hats, are back. Um, that was one of my dreams to naturalize them in my garden. But I would think they are picky little creatures. But look at that. We have more there. And they are looking happy here in this corner and so many more and babies as well. So I'm very hoping in next few years they will fill this little space with babies and we will see them every year. Okay, Sherry is exploring something in the corner there. <laughs> as you can see, the Pyracanthus is looking wonderful and bit by bit it is filling the fence here we almost can see the fence it is so nice i hope we will see some blooms this spring and some berries in autumn and uh, there will be something for birds to enjoy as well okay sergi is sniffing every single flower he is not believing me that every single one has strong scent <laughs> so he decided to check on every single one and the most exciting thing, what is the most exciting thing in the garden? The magnolia. magnolia tree. The magnolia tree is now in bloom. And it is such a great luck that we can look at those blooms here from the steps and we can actually see them so close and even look inside, look, they're gorgeous absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and charlotte is coming for lunch <laughs> here she is and hello <laughs> and we will have lunch in the garden and then we are back to our projects the weather is incredible ah oh, it is definitely spring and it is just so perfect we decided to have lunch with Charlotte in the garden and all the time we are so busy we had no chance to properly sit down, have a chat, have a meal and enjoy the garden as well. And look, it is perfect now. So many things are in bloom. I like this corner with, um, with wild primroses that are actually coming from Charlotte's garden last year. Look how, like, how much color they give and they're so happy, they're so giving. Uh, my idea now to spread them everywhere in the garden and also to plant those here uh, at this edge so we have more color in spring. Honestly, they've been on for a few weeks now and they will be on for a couple of more weeks. I think one month of bloom is a very, very long and generous performance. Ah, oh, the highest sense smell delicious absolutely delicious look they're starting as well oh poor thing have to put supports for those and the size of the pe peonies look at that these are bare roots they didn't bloom last year they were teeny tiny little shoots Okay, Sherry is coming to tell me that Charlotte is here. <laughs> yes, you are. Who is there? Who is there? Who is there? Charlotte is there. Okay, <laughs> off she goes, holding a rock in her mouth. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see if there will be any blooms this year. Just look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> look. Oh, just this color, it's like a lick of sunshine here with all the yellow tones. So beautiful. And the muscari are starting as well. Teeny tiny little things. 
And the other exciting thing is that our Magnolia Stellata is in bloom and she's a pure beauty. She didn't bloom last year. I was worried she's not happy. She's sick. But look at that. This year she is actually performing and she's gorgeous. And I'm so happy I chose the right tree for the right sport. She will be glorious here. Bigger and so pretty on this dark background. So pretty. is here covered in dust <laughs> just a little bit we have pasta prosecco And then the lunch is over. Sergi is working already in the guest bedroom. I can see dust, clouds of dust coming from the guest bedroom. is cleaning all the corners on the ceiling to perfection good job can I open window for you no okay okay see you later bye and here is my today's project I started it yesterday in my patreon video and uh, I must admit that took me quite a lot of thinking and energy and little bit of stress um, yeah so today the image is more clear for me what I have to do I set up temporary like um, what it has to look like and uh, now I will dismantle it and start gluing things into the place and first this base has to be glued the marble base into the uh, supports and then on this marble base uh, I have to glue to the base and to the wall uh, the mantelpiece and then actually the next step will be building the walls of the fireplace because this part has to go uh, into the mantelpiece itself I hope that makes some sense I just wanted to show you how the mantelpiece looks like. This is inside of every side and the structure itself is made out of different blocks of uh, marble. 
so and uh, I'll start with this wall and then I'll do another one and then I think tomorrow I can do the back so wish me luck Well, this is very satisfying just cleaning the mortar from the brick and to see the wall done i feel so good and not seeing any more this hole and ruins it feels so good Just very last touches, so the seams are nice and smooth. Oh, this is very satisfying. Working with a sponge is always satisfying. This is my today's progress. The fireplace is looking wonderful. Um, now I just so it looks so good. <laughs> uh, and uh, this support that was built out of bricks, it will be covered uh, with the same marble as the fireplace. I just have to go to our local marble cutting station and i will order the pieces that will be going around all base and the legs so all that will be in the same marble as the fireplace so it will be all fine 
and it's just it feels like it's a huge a huge step forward and i placed i placed basket inside it fit, it fits perfectly i love it i love it so much now it's still a lot lots of work to do uh, next step will be to place this section and the top of the fireplace and actually we will leave it for now like that we will work on everything else leaving this hole we'll just place temporary the piece of drywall because we want to access it when we will be ready to install uh, the proper like connection for the flue and the hood itself so it has to be accessible just for now until we finish um, the fireplace project so yeah and i think this is it for today i wish you a very good day and i see you tomorrow bye